Section 10.6, Gas Mixtures and Partial Pressures. John Dalton, that English school teacher, did a lot of work, and he is known for so many different things. One of them, as he was studying gases, is that he figured out that if you were to mix gases, say like air is a mixture of nitrogen and oxygen and other gases, all of the pressure that the whole gas exerts is the sum of all the, uh, the gases that makes up that mixture as if they were by themselves. So if you have nitrogen gas in air and it exerts a certain pressure, and then you have oxygen gas in air and it exerts a pressure, when you mix the two pressures together, you get the total pressure of the air. So the air, the total pressure is simply a sum of all the little pressures that make up that gas. So if you have so, mi uh, so much, so much uh, force that it's exerting on the, on the container, and then you add a different gas that exerts a certain force, you add those two forces up, you'll get the same force of pressure uh, total as the sum of the different pressures that you added to make the gas. So in other words, pressure total equals the pressure of the first gas plus the pressure of the second gas plus the pressure of the third gas, either in atmospheres or pascals or whatever pressure it is. One of the useful ways you can do this in the lab is to collect gas. If you want to find out how much gas you have, it's really hard to measure it because if it's bubbling off the top of an open beaker, it's just going into the air and you can't get it back. So one way to trap a gas so that you know exactly how much gas that you generated was to fill a glass or a graduated cylinder with uh, water so that there's no air in it at all and then bubble the product, product through that gas so that you can trap it above the water. Problem is, is that some of that water has become water vapor as you have bubbled the air, the air through the water. You forced some of that water to have enough energy to escape as, as gaseous water, which means that you're going to have to subtract that. If you want to find out how much gas you actually uh, made, you're going to have to subtract the amount of water vapor that's sitting above your sample mixed in with your sample. And so because you can because you can trap that gas, you can figure out what its, um, what its pressure is, then you can figure out how much you made and how much, um, like what the weight of that, of that air is and all kinds of things like that in, in the lab.